Hello everyone and welcome back to Bird Nerd. Today I'm going to be talking about what makes a songbird a songbird. The answer may seem pretty straightforward, but there's actually more than meets the eye. Did you know that a bird does not have to be an amazing singer in order to be a songbird? Well, keep watching to learn more. From a scientific standpoint, songbirds are perching birds belonging to the order Passeriformes, in the suborder Passeri. This suborder includes over 4,000 species called ocines or songbirds. With such range in size, plumage, and musical ability, something all birds in the suborder have in common is extreme control of a vocal organ called the syrinx. Pretty much every bird has a syrinx that they use to produce sounds, but ocines have specialized muscles around theirs which allow them a greater level of control. When a bird exhales, it can use muscles around the syrinx to control membranes. As the air moves over the membranes, they vibrate, producing specific sounds. The control that songbirds have over the syrinx allows them to make amazing songs. Another trait of songbirds is how they learn their songs, rather than relying on instinct. Studies show that ocines hatch with a general idea of their song, but they listen to their parents and other adults to fine-tune them. The ability to learn songs sets ocines apart from other passerines, as they can continue to add to their list of songs, while the other passerines only have a couple of vocalizations. Now, these traits make it way too easy to sort the birds into categories, and of course, there are always exceptions. A study shows that a three-waddled bellbird, a species that is a passerine but doesn't belong to passeri, may also learn their songs. Also, some species in passeri don't really have a song, and there are other species of birds that don't belong in the suborder, but they have elaborate vocalizations that sound like songs. The two main functions of a bird's song is to attract a mate and defend territory. So, to try and slim down all this information, not all songbirds have great vocals or even sing, and some non-songbirds will sing. True songbirds are called ocines and have incredible control of their syrinx. Ocines also learn their songs, but this trait may not be exclusive only to them. Well, I hope that was not too confusing. If you enjoyed learning about songbirds as much as I did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time!